In today's video, I'm going to talk about what mistakes not to make or what not to do at your solo acoustic gigs. I want to thank Mr. Cheswick Music, a subscriber of this channel, for the suggestion. He had asked me to make a video about what not to do <laughs> at your solo acoustic gigs or at your live gigs or I guess at any uh, musical gig, what not to do. What are some mistakes that I've made or that I've seen others make or that I've heard um, club owners or bar owners or restaurant owners complain about you know, so we can kind of avoid making those mistakes to begin with. Okay, let's start with some of the basics, right? All of these are going to seem kind of obvious. But the first thing I've heard bar owners and club owners complain about, or rather remark about when I show up at a gig, is how I'm always early. Frank, you're always early to a gig. So-and-so shows up late. So-and-so shows up late. Well, the biggest thing I could say, the biggest mistake to avoid, which is totally in your control, do not show up late to a gig. Do not even show up right on time to a gig. If your start time is 7 p.m., you should be there at 6, okay? It shows that you are about your business. It shows that you're a professional. It presents you in a positive light to the customers, to the owner of the venue. Also, it gives you a chance to get in the right state of mind before you play. Take a minute, have a glass of water or a cup of coffee or go over your set list, you know, make sure you're in tune. We'll get to that later. But, you know, it just gives you some time to kind of get into the zone, feel out the room, okay? Never show up to a gig late. Always show up to a gig early. That's the first mistake. Next mistake not to make is to not be dressed properly for the gig, okay? Don't dress like a bum. Don't wear t-shirts unless it's like some sort of outdoor gig at a beach maybe. I don't know. Even then, try to present yourself in a professional manner. If it's a fancy restaurant you're playing, have a collared shirt on, button-down shirt. Even if it's an outdoor uh, event that's, you know, a summer kind of event, you know, have have a well-pressed shirt, have a linen shirt, something that presents you in a professional manner. Show up like you care, okay? If you dress poorly, it presents itself poorly. It's an easy mistake not to make, very easy to fix. When it's time to play, take a few minutes, get a decent sound check. Don't just turn on your equipment maybe dial in the same settings that you use at the last gig and assume that that's going to be perfect. You want to make sure that your volume matches the room, okay? You don't want to be too loud if you're in a restaurant or if you're in a bar and people are having to scream over you. You're going to make people uncomfortable. So get a good sound check, get a balanced sound check. Ask somebody in the room who you trust, maybe somebody you know, you know, if the balance of the sound is good and you have something to go off of because we can't always tell what it sounds like out there in the room. So don't be afraid to ask. It's okay to ask the audience, is it too loud? Is it balanced? Can you hear it in the back? Etc. Okay? Don't play too loud. Get a good sound check. The next one is no matter what type of mood you are in when you get there, you might have hit traffic, you might be tired, you might be cranky, you might just not be in the mood. Once it's time to play, that has to go out the window. Once it's time to play, it's about delivering the music with a good vibe, with the right feel, so that it communicates something to the people in that room. That is your job. Your bad mood, it's like when you go to any other job for the day. You're not going to go there and kind of have a bad attitude or let it seem like you're not in your best form to your customers, to your boss, to your clients, whatever it is, okay? So always, always check yourself before you wreck yourself. Leave your baggage at the door when it's time to play. It's all good vibes, okay? 
sort of related to that is don't fail to engage the audience. Look, sometimes the audience is totally not paying attention. Maybe you're pay- playing at a party and they're involved with each other and there's nothing you could do about that. Okay, so you attempt to engage without being pushy. But if you have an audience that's engaged, that's paying attention, that's enjoying it, you need to engage them. Don't just do your thing and ignore an audience that's showing you love. If they're showing you love, show them love right back. Okay? Don't fail to engage the audience. And sort of along those lines, by the same token, while you want to engage the audience, this is a pet peeve of mine. Don't talk too much between songs. Don't, I mean, this is a pet peeve of mine. I just can't stand when I go out and listen to somebody in a small club or restaurant and they're playing and after every song I have to listen to, you know, a 10 minute speech or even a two minute speech. We don't want to hear it. Play music. And that means when you do take a second to talk or there's an opportunity to say something, the audience will be way more receptive to you so that when you do say something, you're going to look like a superhero rather than them already anticipating, oh, this guy's going to start telling me some long story. They're not interested. They're really not. I hate to break it to you, but they're not. Okay. Here's another one. Don't drink, do any kind of drugs excessively. This sounds silly, but don't drink overly at a, at a bar gig or at a restaurant gig. The, you're not there to be a customer of the venue. You're there to present yourself as a professional, okay? Yeah, maybe you want to have one or two drinks. I personally don't drink at gigs. I'm not going to say I never did. <laughs> I've had my moments. Um, but I found that I'm there to work. I'm there to be in the right frame of mind, to be in total control of everything I do. I'm not there for leisure, if, I go, if I'm going out with my wife or with my friends and I want to have a drink or two, that's different. But if I'm there to work, remember there's a line between the customers and clients and you. Okay? Do not drink. Do not abuse any substances at your gigs. That's a mistake to avoid. Okay. Here's another one. Make sure you have a backup plan. Okay? This is a very broad category, but a backup plan, let's say, for the music you plan to play. Let's say you plan to play, you know, classic rock songs and you get to the venue and it's people, you know, maybe older people or super young people, people that you think might not connect to that, okay? Now, maybe that's your wheelhouse and that's all you know, but try to have some sort of contingency plan if things don't go exactly the way you want. The more prepared you are, the better off. Taking that to another level about having a backup plan is have a backup microphone, have extra cables, extra strings, an extra capo, so that if something was to go wrong, you're not left there unable to deliver your product or making excuses to the owner of the venue or to the customers. Oh, I would do this, but I can't do that. Nobody wants to hear that. The same way you don't want to hear your car mechanic tell you why he can't do uh, the job that needs to be done. You're there to do a job. So we have to kind of make sure we're prepared so that the audience has no idea if something is going wrong, if something's going right. We need to just make it as seamless as possible. So don't make the mistake of not being prepared and not having backups of certain critical, critical things. I keep an extra capo in my guitar case that I never take out of the guitar case. Now, how often do I forget a capo at my gig? Almost never. I always put one in my pocket before I leave the house. But sometimes you forget a capo. Or maybe you had a hole in your pocket and it fell out. Or maybe the capo broke. Whatever is essential to your gig, make sure you have a backup of it. Okay, another common mistake people make, and I do it too, is when you're in a live setting, We tend to rush songs, okay? Especially if it's a song we're a little hesitant about playing. Maybe we've never played it out before. Just keep keep a grip on yourself that you're not rushing, okay? That's a little, just a little side 
thing there for you. All right, so just to review, mistakes not to make. Never show up late. Don't dress like a bum. Get a decent sound check. Don't play too loud. Never let your bad mood filter out into the audience. Always put out good vibes. Engage the audience. Don't drink. Don't abuse any substances. Okay? Have backup plan. Have backup gear for your essential gear that you need. Don't rush the songs. Don't talk too much in between songs. And never make excuses to your audience about, well, well this song didn't would be good, but I, you know, oh, it's not really my, don't make excuses, okay? Deliver what you need to deliver, do it with a good vibe, and you'll have successful acoustic gigs. Hit the thumbs up, please like this video and subscribe. I'm Frank Persico. I'm a little bit all over the place today, but there you go. I have a gig tonight myself that I don't want to be late for. It's Friday, so I'm like, all right? Enjoy. Have a good one. See you in the next video.